welcome back guys to another video and today i come here with another great announcement from google they have finally and officially started supporting the raspberry pi 3 with the android platform now this is not unfortunately the whole android mobile operating system instead this news comes via the announcement of android things now a few years back google announced their brillo project which was directed towards in the internet of things now that brillo project and android have merged together to form the android things os now this is an iot based operating system it's a very very cut down version of android and now it's officially available for the raspberry pi 3 now before we get into the details of android things let's go ahead and see how the raspberry pi 3 boots on this operating system so first of all what we need to do is download this zip file from uh, the android.com website and this is still in preview stages so that means the android source code is not yet available so uh, you could really go just go ahead and test it out for now and then uh, and then mess around with the code later on once the open source code has been released so this is what you get uh, a was one zip file which has that img file that you would then flash onto your sd card and the rest we all know how to do that stuff we all know how to put an image file on the sd card and put it on the raspberry pi this is exactly the same thing so we have the sd card now and the raspberry pi 3 so this is what happens when you boot it up Alright, so now our Android has booted up on the Raspberry Pi 3. There is not much in the form of a launcher because this is not a full blown uh, Android operating system. Now what this is, it's very, very interesting. The Android on things is a very cut down version of Android that is supposed to run on these IoT devices. Uh, it has the android ecosystem it runs on the same android 7.0 code base everything is exactly the same you do develop uh, the apps they are actual apk apps that you develop to run on these systems and you do it using android studio uh, on the android 7.0 uh, api 24 so that works with this so the uh, the actual um advantage android has or, or more likely google has over uh, things like uh, windows uh, own iot platform and ubuntu's uh, iot platform is that there are a lot of people who know how to develop android application a lot more than people combined who know how to develop for visual studio and ubuntu so they have that going for them and they have uh, leveraged that uh, in this manner so what we'll be going to do is go ahead and an iot application is useless if you cannot blink an led it's like the hello world of iot uh, based programs so what we are going to do is simply go ahead and blink an led it is the simplest thing to do uh, if you want to do it on your own from point one make your own application uh, the uh, you uh, you can actually go ahead and uh, you know get all of the uh, details on how to do that and walkthroughs so you can through uh, you can see I'm actually going through uh, the walkthroughs right now uh, these are almost basic Android walkthroughs uh, but uh, for your things project what you need to do is there are a few additional libraries that you want to add these are available on the recent updates on the api level 24 as well as android studio 2.2 so update those and you will get these pre-installed just have to sort of include uh, them on in your code and then uh, start coding like uh, the way you want to do it and um, there are guides 
available and there is a sample app available that you can import it on to your existing android studio setup so i've done exactly that i have connected my raspberry pi to uh, my uh, android studio now uh, what I'll do is open up a terminal and use ADB to connect to the Raspberry Pi. And now uh, the IP address is actually provided uh, in the welcome screen. Once you are uh, done with that, uh, it will connect and you can simply run, run your application and it would look something like this. Now these are actually APKs, it's so awesome that Google actually went ahead and just combined that instead of making something new and it will really work out in their favor uh, in the coming time. Now I do expect the source code to be released uh, soon enough in a few weeks uh, once the preview period is over but for now let's go ahead and look at what Linux version we are running. Now earlier it was uh, actually uh, supposed to be Linux version uh, 4.1 uh, but I think they did upgrade to um, uh, Linux version 4.4.19 and but they are still running on the ARM v7 so it's not 64 bit it is still 32 bit talking about the source code another thing that I would like to show you is this is where the source code would be available whenever it does and this is where all that um, rumor started of Google actually having an Android on the uh, Raspberry Pi platform. Now another thing is that earlier according to the Google's repository the kernel should have been 4.1 but it looks like they actually went ahead and used the uh, kernel 4.1. For uh, which is a LTS kernel, so that is actually pretty great. Um, all right, so right here you can see it actually shows by version 4.1. Uh, this is under the hardware BSP and kernel, and then Raspberry Pi. So this actually suggests that the kernel was going to be 4.1, but as I said, it's great that it came out to be 4.1. For. Now there are a couple more uh, samples that you can actually run right off out of the box with this uh, repository and that is a button sample as well as a PWM sample. Now talking about samples there is uh, there was supposedly a lack of display but it doesn't seem to be right uh, that way right now as you can see right now on your screen there is a blink app open up it just has a heading blink because there are new no ui elements added as of now but in the future yes there will be ui elements and you could possibly interact with them and make it a sort of a kiosk thing now it would be very interesting uh, to see things like uh, nest controllers and more uh, actually home automation sort of devices coming out of this so uh, this is about it i will be leaving a link in the description with all the related links that i found on this topic that will help you uh, all get set up with android things on the raspberry pi and do check that out thank you so much for uh, viewing this video and Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.